this cyrogluster cyst it is a remnant of the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland the development develop from the face of the trunk. Face of the trunk has an origin of the thyroid. It is a foramen cecum. Foramen cecum is attached to the base of the trunk. But then during the growth, in triuterine growth, it descends down to stay at its normal position. Sometimes during the descent, this tract, which carries the thyroid gland, remains patent. Remains, you know, the zone of two have that it jumps up, you know, secretions in the world have the world here, epithelium, and epithelium has normal secretions, right? If the tissue has secretion, it counts, you know, counts. This is not thyroid cyst. So, in other words, it is still attached to the base of the tongue. It is moving. The thyroid is moving with the tongue. Why? Because it is attached. In the fascia, it is attached to the تراكية مش كده؟ والقصه بس كلها يفوت لوحده عشان كده لو التراكية تتحرك مع الكسوره طبعا مع الكسوره التراكية بتطلع لفوق صح؟ عشان تفلو ذا الاير وي ما ينزل كده فيبقى ذيس از واي ذا ثايرويد موفز ويز سوالوين اند ثايروبلوسل تيسيس موف ويز بروتيكوشن اوف ذا تانك ذن وي كونفيرم ذا فيرست ستيب ذات ذيس از ويلينج از ثايرويد بيكوز ات موفز ويز سوالوين داز نوت موف With the protrusion of the tongue. The second step, we start to examine this swelling as a thyroid. Right? The material to comment the whole there is a swelling on the anterior aspect of the neck. It moves with the swelling and does not move with protrusion of the tongue. Uh, the swelling is diffusely enlarged over the anterior, or there is enlargement of right to more than the left side, mm. and you describe what you see. I want to tell it this smooth enlargement, okay? Symmetrical enlargement or one loop only, or the isthmus only, or only one nodule. You see it by inspection. You can estimate the size by inspection or by tape measure. Okay? You need size to be the magazine to get there. You can have tape measure or ruler. Must be right. The tail of the tube is a thyroid gland. The measurement has got in two directions. Okay, for example. Okay, the crossing each other. Then you comment on any scars of breathing surgery. Any scars of breathing surgery. In front of the sit here, I am the analyst. I have been here. I have been here. I have been here. I have been here. Then you will comment on scars of breathing surgery to see if there is any dilated veins or visible pulsations. If there is any sciences over the gland. Okay. And then we look to the sides of the neck for evidence of lymph node enlargement. Lymph nodes enlargement. Here, some people they comment examination of the trachea at this stage. But then we have to look at the trachea later on. Then you start touching the gland after asking the patient. You will lay out the lymph nodes or the mati lymph nodes. You put it like that. Then you put it on the face. On the face. The face is sitting, not lying flat in bed. Some of the thyroid patient is sick. There is no tenderness. Then I will come. Palpation of the thyroid is from from the back. Now the patient is here. Mujud. Okay. Okay. Here. Now we start to do little flexion of the neck. I will cut the inta. I will have steak and mushida. And here I just show you. I'm a flexion with the with the thumbs. Put the thumbs of your fingers. At the back of the skull, put a little bit of the hair, put a little bit of the hair, and then, if I want to determine the right loop of the gland, I will push from the left side. If you want to put it on the neck side, put it on the neck side. If you want to put it on the neck side, put it on the neck side. If you want to examine it on the right, put it on the left side. Because the right side is more prominent. Okay? Then you start examining the patient by moving your fingers over the surface of the gland. Look at the patient, by moving your fingers over the surface of the gland. شوف الجلان هذا هل هي سموث انلارجمنت اور نودولار انلارجمنت اوكي؟ ذن سنجل نودول بال بابل الون اور ما ذن تراي تو فيل ذا ايدج اوف ذا جلان ذا اصابع هل تحاول تحسس حدود الجلان ذا حد اخر مكان لها هنا وين هنا وين الاول اراوند ذا جلان ذيس از فيلينج ذا ايدج اند سبيشالي ذا لور ليميت كان يو فيل ذا لور ليميت اوف ذا جلان اور ما بيكوز اف ذا جلان از انلارج تو ماتش ات كان جو into the chest wall, mm -hmm. and this we call retrosternal extension. Then, after the edges and surface, feel the consistency of the gland, super gland. Is it cystic, firm, hard, muscular? 
and then check mobility Mr. Kilgunan Kuda, how to move up and down and transverse directions. Is it fixed to the underlying structures or mobile? And then try to pinch the skin over the gland. Mr. Kijil, which is the gland, to have a massive mandula or can be moved freely over the gland. And then feel for a thrill. Okay, the kid up is fun show you. And you start and show you action. Is it healthy three at your hand or no three? And then feel the lymph nodes. And the last one is the lymph nodes. The gland feel the lymph nodes. And then do the same procedure on the on the other side. Because the kid up you have vibrated the gland. And see on both sides, right side and left side. When you finish palpation of the gland, then come again from from from. Come again from from. Feel for the trachea. Actually, here begin of the end of trachea. Trachea. Give to the end of trachea. Trachea. Give to you. In a few days, ten of you do not stop. Sleep now. Put some bag on the head. Head head. Put some bag on the head. Head. And run your finger. Your finger center in the trachea. Over the bracket, we have to set the shoe a distance here. We have to have to have to equal or not equal. I should shoot the bracket deviation and then we are going to start from the suprasternal nose and go down to see if there is any change in the percussion nodes. If there is any change in the percussion nodes, and start the dull, then become resonant. Meaning, here is no free mass. Mass would be a retrosternal extension of the gland. Either you finish the examination, the thyroid proper. You still this examination, the thyroid proper. Then you examine the surrounding structures in the area. Do you want to show us? Do you want to show us? Lama. 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 We said that we will examine the surrounding structures which are we examine the esophagus, trachea, and recurrent laryngeal nerve. Recurrent laryngeal nerve asks the patient to to talk. After we have to go to the hospital and the back. If he has a normal voice, meaning the recurrent laryngeal nerve is not affected. If his voice becomes harsh or he cough during talking, meaning the recurrent laryngeal nerve is affected. Ask him if there is any problem of swallowing, problem of choking or inspiration. If no mana khalat, then they are not affected, sir. They are not affected. Then you go and examine the status of the gland. Khalat, and if there is something about the anatomy of the gland, the sir, like at this time, what's your diagnosis? You will know. The largest of the cervix bone is removed, no. Goiter. Goiter. So, this is diffuse goiter. The kind of gland is smoothly in large cool as well. This is diffuse goiter. Cool as gland is not a nodular goiter. This is not a nodular goiter. This is not a nodular goiter. This is a nodular goiter. This is a single nodule, but this is a solitary nodule, sir. This is a solitary nodule. At this stage, this is my diagnosis. But my medical examination with the thyroid status, you can avoid diffuse toxic goiter, sir. Mm. The kind of function hyper. I will diffuse simple goiter, sir. Mm. The kind of function normal. That's mm -hmm. Multinodular goiter, you can avoid simple multinodular goiter, or the toxic multinodular goiter. That's the shape. Simple solitary nodule or toxic solitary nodule. Mm -hmm. What are the possibilities of Simple goiter, we'll physiological. Mm -hmm. Physiological, it can enlarge during puberty, during pregnancy, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, due to increased demand. Come for how much after the hormone with the thyroid, you get thyroid that's all that if you use large much, I have to produce more hormone. The physiological, it's a mere symbol. If you use goiter, uh, this is a physiological goiter. Are you going to use iodine deficiency? Which is that? Gland. She wants to trap more iodine. Diffuse toxic goiter. You can use you know, Graves disease. You can use cyanoiditis, the Hashimoto cyanoiditis, the Rhinitis cyanoiditis, the Decovariant cyanoiditis. Okay. 
يبقى بعد ذلك انت بعد ما عملت الديسكريبشن من الاكزامينيشن يو كونكلودد ان اناتوميكال اند فيسيولوجيكال دايجنوزيس ذن يو كان جو اند كوليتد تو ديفرنت كوزيس كل كوز بعد ذلك بيجيبوا بالانفستيجيشن اوكي اب تو ناو ضابطين ولا في في somebody missing حد هسه كويسين The examination of the function of the gland depends on examination of the general stasis, so they go on the patient generally. Is she convertible or restless or dull? So, and then you examine the eye and hand. Eye, seven signs. Hand, seven signs. So, I'm going to tell you. 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 لا خلاص ده اكزامينت اوف ذا فانكشن اوف ذا لانج اكزامينت اوف ذا فانكشن اوف ذا ثايرويد لانج ستارت اكزامينشن وذ ذا هاند شيك هاند وذ ذا بيشنت وي ونت تو نو ويذر ذا هاند اوف ذا بيشنت از وور اور كولد اور نورمال از ات مويست اور دراي مويست يعني شنو؟ متعرقه مش متعرقه اذا كان الجد متعرقه بس اذا حطيت ايدك على فيها تحس انها جد مبلله صح؟ اوكي اند ذن وور ان كومبيرسون تو يور هاند حطيت ايدك لو هي ادفى من يدك انت معناها هي سوور واذا ابرد اذا حسيت انها طبيعيه ذس از نورمال يبقى ذا فيرست ثينج تو كومنت اون ذا وورمنس اوف ذا هاند ان مويستر از ات مويست اور دراي ذن يو جو تو لوك فور بالماري ريثيما The hand in redness, increase redness or not? The palm of the hand. And then you go to the nails for evidence of clubbing. Clubbing. It's a new thyroid acrobatic clubbing here. You call it thyroid acrobatic. Do you know how to examine for clubbing? Diamond sign, muskida, or a fluctuation at the face, muskida, of the nail. The hand of the nail, hold with the plate of the nail. It's a man nail angle. You can have it. شوف اذا كان بيجا ستريت معناها ذيس از ديجري اوف كلام كلام 4 ديجري صح؟ اند ذن يو اكزامين ذا نيلز فور اونيكوليسيس اونيكوليسيس اور اونيكوليسيس ذيس از ثين نيلز ثين ترانسبيرنت نيلز النيلز تبقى ثين ترانسبيرنت يو كان سي اندر ات خلاص؟ اوكي ذيس از اونيكوليسيس اند ذن يو جو لوك فور ايفيدنس اوف فيتيلايبو وات از فيتيلايبو؟ هايبو بيجمنتد اريا بيسموه شنو؟ بيسموه البهاق مش؟ زي البهاق تروح حتة فيها سبوتس سمول سبوتس اوف هايبو بيجمنتد سكين. This is occurs in autoimmune thyroiditis. Occurs with autoimmune thyroiditis. Then you go and examine the pulse. For the reason and rate. Reason. Atrial fibrillation can occur with toxic mitochondrial goiter. 40 percent of the cases with toxic mitochondrial goiter they are associated with atrial fibrillation. So that you look whether the pulse is regular or irregular. The other thing, the pulse rate is it normal? High? This is called this bradycardia or higher? We call this tachycardia. We got the pulse rate which is more high. For the mia, we call tachycardia. Under 60, we call Radicality or normal rate loss. And then the last sign in the hand is to examine for the tremor. So file tremor. And the eye is out stretching his hand, my friend. The animal is wrong. The animal is not doing it. The animal is not doing it. The animal is wrong. The animal is out stretched and the fingers were spread. Fingers are not moving. The body is not moving. Well, hand to that point on the first space. If you cannot see fine tremor, then you can put a piece of paper over the hand and to see, to see whether this piece of paper is shaking or not. Shaking or not. That's the other These are the seven signs that can be elicited from the hand in patient with thyroid disease. You have fingers are so in there. Shake with the patient hand. Shaking the face with the side with the hand. Not the. Temperature. Warmness and moisture. Must be that. You detect warmness and moisture by just shaking 
can't be the patient. Yes? Is a bad for erythema? Nerves? Clubbing? Clubbing or pneumoclesis. Pneumoclesis. Then? Pulse. Eye for pigmentation. Okay. Then? Pulse. In the pulse. Then? Tremor. The other type of tremors you know other than fine tremor? The flapping. Flapping tremor of? You heard this, sir? Yes. If you call tremor, sir? Then as a Parkinsonism, Parkinsonism is how she calls it. You call it this course tremor. Type. 